Hey there YouTubers, back in action again and uh, this time I picked up some new rolling stock and uh, I had seen this car a while back, had my eyes on it and uh, pulled the trigger last week, um, just had to have it, it looked uh, so brilliant in the store, um, it was definitely something I wanted to add to my collection. I picked this up um, here in Atlanta at a uh, local hobby store by the name of um, Riverdale Train Station. It's a little south of the airport if you are familiar with the Atlanta area. Certainly not the greatest neighborhood I've ever been to in my life, but uh, very, very good uh, local hobby store. Specializes completely in trains. Um, the guy there is very helpful, very knowledgeable. So if you're in the uh, Atlanta area, I definitely recommend it. It's uh, Riverdale Train Station is the name of it. But anyway, this is my first uh, Walters Proto. Um, I've been picking up, you know, if you've been following some of my videos, I've been picking up some MTH cars. I've also been picking up some Intermountains. And recently I've been buying a good chunk of Exact Rail. Of all of them, the Exact Rail blows me away. But I've seen the Walters Proto. Um, so you can see the box here. I've seen the Walters Proto before at train shows, hobby stores, so on and so forth. Um, they're pricey. Um, they're up there with the cost of Exact Rail. And because I've had such solid results with Exact Rail, I never pulled the trigger on this. But, you know, I took a very good look at this and I said, you know what, I got to have this thing. It looks so good. Let me pick it up. I'm glad I did. And I'll give you, uh, you know, my, my take on a review on this guy right now. So, first of all, it's a Walters Proto, it's a 40 foot Trinity. Um, 14,000 gallon molten sulfur um, tank car. Uh, road name is GATX. Uh, and the number is uh, on this one, 8435 I picked up. Um, so, I guess the, the, the rail name is General American. Um, that's what it says in the box anyway. And the part number is Walters Proto 920-100025. Um, give you a little rundown of it. I was happy to see that Walters went to the trouble to actually put a little briefing about how this car is used prototypically. And it's kind of interesting. They actually load the sulfur in there, molten and boiling. Um, goes on to say something to the effect of, uh, you know, they're, they're insulated and the stuff will stay, you know, liquid for weeks at a time. And then when it gets to its destination, they can heat it up and get the sulfur out of it if necessary. Um, not sure if you could see it, but it comes with a complete exploded parts list. And looks like there are 74 different parts on this guy. So pretty impressive. Very good parts list. Exploded detail on there. History of the car. Um, and then it comes with this little note. Kit shortages, spare parts. Tells you exactly what you need to do to get help. So, uh, I'm impressed. The other thing I would say, and I don't have a digital scale, um, so I can't weigh this and compare it to NMRA standards, but the car is uh, quite heavy for its size. Um, if you look at it, the yellow... Um, you know, I, I don't have the professional lighting here or anything, but I can I can tell you it's it's maybe um, a little bit of a deeper yellow than what you're seeing on the video screen, but it is extremely bright and very attractive, very well done. Um, you should be able to see for yourself the printing on there is extraordinarily clear and crisp. Um, very impressed. There is gobs of detail to go around on this model. You've got separately applied handrails everywhere, um, separately applied piping, separately applied, um, uh, uh, I'm not sure what you would call it, like scaffolding that's on there, hand brakes. Let me see if I can uh, spin around, give you a uh, view from this angle. 
hopefully you can it's yellow on yellow so I'm not sure how well you can see the handbrake detail in there but it is very very well done I am very impressed with this model um, you know this safety cage that, that is at the top again very well done you can see it's prototypically, prototypically correct where they've got the uh, markings on the top of it as well. Um, very attractive car. Um, I would say, oh, let me show you the underbody as well. The underbody was impressive. So let's take a look at that. First of all, that gives you the look from the side. So you can see that detail right there from that angle as if it were running. So you would see... Even uh, while it's running, depending on your viewing angle, you're going to see that detail under there. And certainly if you flip it over, there's a bonanza of underbody detail. So very nice job by Walters. I am impressed with these protos. Um, I would say that... Um, let me get it back on here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Um, obviously, for a model that cost, I paid thirty-five for it. For a model that costs this much, it's certainly got separately applied detail. It's got metal wheels. Um, the only disappointment on this for me is it does. You know, it's got the the Walther's um, couplers on there. I forget what they're called, but. What I do know is they are not Katie. Um, that's a disappointment. Um, but that's, you know, my disappointment with that isn't just um, confined to Walters. It's pretty much anybody who does not provide those Katie couplers. The ones that I know of, um, Intermountain often supplies the Katie couplers. I even talked to their customer service a few weeks ago to confirm that. And they are Katie at Intermountain unless otherwise specified. Um, exact Rail. I think always uses KD. I could be wrong, but I, I believe. And then MTH oftentimes uses KD as well. Um, they'll actually provide their MTH um, proprietary couplers and the KDs in the box. So that's pretty nice by MTH. But nonetheless, um, I don't know too much about these Walters couplers, but uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. If they're not, they will be replaced. Um, so that's it. Again, Keep this to a, a, a short review here. I mean, really what I want to do is just show you the detail. And uh, eight minutes into this video, by now, you should have seen enough, I would think. Let me show you the uh, complete backside of this guy, just to make sure. So there it is. And uh, I think with that, I will wrap this up again. This is the uh, Walters Proto 40-foot uh, Trinity, 14,000 gallon, molten sulfur. Uh, it's General Amer American is the rail, and it's number 8435. And if you're interested in looking up this product in particular, it's Walters 920-100025. And I'll put those details on YouTube as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sharp looking car, very impressed with it. Can't wait to get it onto my layout. Uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. Any questions or comments, just let me know. I'll respond as soon as I can.